Hello and welcome to this Employability Skills Programme session. My name is Nick Fannin from Bright Red Triangle, which is the Enterprise Hub at Edinburgh Napier University. This is a quick introduction to developing and testing your ideas. If you recall, we'd left you at the end of trimester one uh, in a brainstorming session where you had been required to work with your teammates to come up with an idea that would solve a problem or a challenge faced by your stakeholder group. You then had to pitch the idea and you're sort of now considering, well, how do I, how do I figure out if this idea actually is any good? That's what we're going to be spending uh, this week doing, is helping you to understand how you can test and validate the idea with your user group. So how do you know where good ideas come from? Well, they, they tend to be uh, somewhere in the center of these three lenses. You've got to consider desirability, feasibility and viability. Desirability is about what your user wants or needs. The feasibility is about whether your solution can be done, can be built. Is it technologically and operationally feasible? The viability is about can it be funded, supported? How will it work on an ongoing basis? But you always need to start with desirability because even if the feasibility and the viability work, if people don't want or aren't prepared to use your idea, your solution, then it's not going to take off. We want you to test and validate your ideas because you need to build credibility for the idea. You've got to prove to yourself and later on to others that you understand your stakeholder group and you understand why they would want or need your product or service. You also need to develop a realistic, a realistic user adoption strategy for your new idea based on a clear understanding of the genuine user needs that you've uncovered. So how do we do that? Well, there's lots of different ways that you can test your ideas. If you're looking at viability or looking at the desirability, I should say, um, one of the tools that you can use is the value proposition canvas. This is something that we talked about in week five of trimester one. It's a really simple to use tool and helps you to map out the customer jobs uh, that your users need done, the things that your, your users really need to make happen and can they be provided by your product or service. Can you remove some of the pains that they, these users have in uh, finding a solution at the moment? If you can do that, then you're well on your way to uh, discovering that you've got a good idea. But there are other ways to test your ideas as well. I would urge you to have a look at the uh, testing and validating your idea video and also the prototyping and storyboarding video which exists in your Moodle resources. Those go into further detail about all the different ways that you can uh, test your ideas and gather feedback. I want to talk a little bit uh, just about um, why you're doing this idea testing though. Uh, and why you might need to build a vehicle to communicate your idea or your solution. I've got a quote here from Bill Mogridge, who's uh, a world-renowned, or was a world-renowned de designer. This is the man that invented uh, the laptop. Uh, and he has a great quote, the only way to experience an experience is to experience it. And this is why we're making you do these exercises, because we want you to go out and really get a feel for how people interact with your idea. And in order to do that, you need to provide them with an opportunity to experience it. So you've got to think about what kind of test should you develop? Who are you going to show your idea or your solution to and in what setting? What do you expect to learn and how are you going to evaluate that learning? It's important that you do this in a really quick and efficient way. We are not talking about uh, building perfect um, products or solutions. We're not talking about um, something that is ready to go. We are talking about fast and dirty, quick representations of your idea, something that can be done cheaply and quickly. We're talking about quantity, not quality. The number of times that you uh, show your product or service to an end user, the more feedback you get. And you've got to figure out what you can do in the time that you have. Who are you going to show it to? and in what setting is really important. So what kind of people, which stakeholders would you share your ideas of? 
with what scale of tests, how many people, um, whereabouts are you going to do this? You're obviously limited in, in, within uh, these times of pandemic, so you need to think about how you'll go about it. One of the things that we're going to ask you to do is to create a storyboard that you can share with people. So the idea that you, could, you would have a story to tell about how your idea, your solution, will help people in their everyday lives. If you can communicate that story to them, you'll be able to gather feedback, which will help you to improve your assumptions. You've got to do this um, as much as possible in the time that you've got in this week. Try and test as many different scenarios. Think about how people will interact with your solution in normal times and in extreme situations. You will, of course, also be talking to uh, stakeholders who have different levels of experience. For those that will be experiencing a challenge for the first time and won't necessarily have any prior knowledge to draw on, but also those who are experienced and, and might be further on in their thinking. So how will they react to your product or service? That will help you to communicate uh, how, it will, how it will benefit everybody and it will make your story more compelling. What do you want to learn from these interactions with your user group? You want to find out about the background and experience of your users, the, their problems, their hopes and fears, their dreams and wishes. You want to find out what specific parts of your, your solution do they like? What alternatives do they use at the moment? And how can you, you build something that is a better alternative than what they're using at the moment? You also want to uh, understand their emotional response to it. Do they like it? Do they dislike it? What's their mood? What's their attitude? If they don't like it, even if it's good, they're not going to use it. The other thing is how are you going to evaluate all this? How are you going to collate all this data? And how are you going to use it when you come to communicate your final presentation? So what do you want to happen in all of this? Well, you want this testing and, and validating experience to teach you about the user con context and their experience. You want to understand how they actually are going to interact with your idea. You want also an opportunity to teach them about the possibilities that exist to make their life better. You want to open their minds to doing something differently. And of course, ultimately, you want them to collaborate in developing better ideas and solutions. The feedback that they give you will help you to make your idea better. That's what we're all wanting out of this thing. So I hope that helps. Thanks for listening and good luck this week.